Now, it could be the only region in the country without tarmac roads, but that does not mean that northern part of Kenya is completely cut off from the rest of the country. Take Lodwa, for instance. To, trans to transact business there, you will have to either fly to the town or use the road. While covering the just-concluded Turkana Festival, KTN's crew traveled by road from Nairobi to Lodwa. And as Masikandia now reports, it's a journey full of surprises. Take a look. 68 kilometers from Kapenguria to Lodwa. This distance will seem longer because the roads that take you to Lodwa are in a pathetic state. Breakdown of vehicles is a common occurrence on this road. Our crew went through that trouble before reaching our destination, Lodwa town. Depending on where the car breaks down, then you would be lucky to get a mechanic. The Kenya National Highway Authority has been put on the spot. Kainuk to Lodwa was initially tarmacked but has never been maintained. The negative side is the highway that belongs to the government that the county government cannot touch. Insecurity along the busy highway is an issue. It is advisable that one tags along security officers for safety as highway banditry attacks are common. Because of this road, it's very difficult. All right? Even this rampant road, I mean highway robberies you are hearing. Because the road is rough. The mode of transport for many is either the motorbike, popularly known here as a pick pick, or even better, you might as well walk to your destination. One, however, has to bear with the scorching sun, with temperatures being as high as 40 degrees Celsius on average. It's a whole day drive from Kapengoria to Lodwa. The only time that took shorter time was two governments ago. For the many who use this road, the wish is that the Jubilee government will look into upgrading of the road. Masi Kandiye KTN, Turkana